Good evening and welcome to St. Mark's Episcopal Church and our online worship experience for this Wednesday, August the 19th, 2020. I come to you again from the chapel at LaGrange College. It has been a comfortable place to be in the heat of August uh, as I battle against the sun and the noise this time of year. So I'm grateful again to my friend Adam Roberts for allowing me to be here. Um, just one note before we begin, next Wednesday, the 26th, is our St. Mark's Social Hour. So next week in your weekly email, um, actually tomorrow in the weekly email, and next week in the Wednesday email, you'll have information about St. Mark's Social Hour up here there. Um, and so it's a link there that just sends you straight to the Zoom page. If you'd like to participate in that, um, please do. And I would encourage you to take part and participate because we have fun conversations um, talk about things that are going on in our lives and just uh, share the kind of conversation that you would imagine having in the cloister room uh, on, a typical, on a typical Sunday. So please do take part in that and join together in that um, with your friends and family from St. Mark's. We begin. Light and peace in Jesus Christ our Lord. Send us, O Lord, the light of your truth. Dispel the darkness of sin and ignorance. Let us confess our sins against God and God's children. We are the people who helped make the wood on which you were crucified, and still we misuse your creation. We are the people who helped make the nails that pierced your body, and still we hurt those around us. We are the people who did nothing to stop your betrayers, and still we are ruled by comfort or cowardice. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Savior, Jesus Christ. Strengthen our bodies, minds, and spirits, and keep us close to the heart of God. The light of Christ has come into the world. The light of Christ has come into the world. Kindle in our hearts, O God, the flame of love, which never ceases, that it may burn in us, giving light to others. Saying together, O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, most holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our first reading is from the book of Deuteronomy. Surely this commandment that I am commanding you today is not too hard for you, nor is it too far away. It is not in heaven that you should say, Who will go up to heaven for us and get it for us, so that we may hear it and observe it? Neither is it beyond the sea that you should say, Who will cross to the other side of the sea for us and get it for us, so that we may hear it and observe it? No, the word is very near to you. It is in your mouth and in your heart for you to observe. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We continue with our first anthem. The souls of his feet have reached the earth, the souls of the Son of Glory. The sun on the housetops shines for him, the voice of the winds with the sounds of the streets announce to us that God has opened a door the door of hope, the door of joy. Our second reading is from the Gospel according to Luke. Then Jesus said to the two disciples, Oh, how foolish you are, and how slow of heart to believe, that all the pro to believe all that the prophets have declared. Was it not necessary that the Messiah should suffer these things and then enter into his glory? Then, beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them the things about himself in all the scriptures. As they came near the village to which they were going, he walked ahead as if he were going on. But they urged him strongly, saying, Stay with us, because it's almost evening, and the day is now nearly over. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at table with them, he took bread and blessed and broke it and gave it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they recognized him. And he vanished from their sight. They said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us while he was talking to us on the road, while he was opening the scriptures to us? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second anthem is a song of Ezekiel. 
I will take you from among all nations and gather you from all lands to bring you home. I will sprinkle clean water upon you and purify you from false gods and uncleanness. A new heart I will give you and a new spirit put within you. I will take the stone heart from your chest and give you a heart of flesh. I will help you walk in my laws and cherish my commandments and do them. You shall be my people and I will be your God. The Lord be with you, and also with you. As beloved children of God, let us pray in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, you gave to your servant William Porcher de Bose special gifts of grace to understand the scriptures and to teach the truth as it is in Christ Jesus. Grant that by this teaching we may know you, the one true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Into your hands, O Lord, we place our families and our neighbors, our brothers and sisters in Christ, and all whom we have met today. Enfold them in your will. Into your hands, O Lord. Into your hands, O Lord, we place all who are victims of prejudice, oppression, or neglect the frail and the unwanted. Cherish them in your love. Into your hands, O Lord. Into your hands, O Lord, we place all who are restless, sick, or prey to the powers of evil. Keep them in your care. Into your hands, O Lord. Circle us, Lord. Keep darkness out, keep light within. Keep darkness out, keep light within. Keep fear out, keep peace within. Keep fear out, keep peace within. Keep hatred out, keep love within. Keep hatred out, keep love within. Lighten our darkness, O Lord, we pray, and in your great mercy defend us from all dangers and perils of this night. For the love of your blessed Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Trinity encircle us, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. The stillness of God be ours this night, that we may sleep in peace. The awareness of the angels be ours this night, that we may be alert to unseen mysteries. The company of the saints be ours this night, that we dream of the river of love. The light of Christ be ours this night, that we may be truly alive to the morning that we may be truly alive. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forever. Amen. Have a good night and blessings.